Yo, 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 what is happening YouTube? My name is Bevan Howells, I'm one of the Howells brothers, and I'm your average triathlete, trying to improve my performance and keep physically and mentally fit. Today is the day after my 10K event, and I'd just like to start by saying what a lovely event it was over in Mumbles. Um, we were raising money for the RNLI, who do some amazing work saving lives every day. So today's video is gonna be a quick review of how the event went, um, so yeah. So the day started, we got in the car, torrential rain, shock in wales so we were like here we go down the motorway towards swansea got there quite early got signed up went into verdi's they were giving out freeman's pies so for happy days latte lovely probably a big mistake looking back at it because it was only 40 minutes out from the race my previous event um was last month exactly a month ago really the mo runner event in cardiff where i was able to get 42 minutes 11 so I was happy with that at the time, but I was like, right, my next goal is to break the 40 minute mark. And I was fortunate yesterday to get a 39, 31 time, which I'm pretty happy about. But yeah, it was awesome. My girlfriend had a PR, her brother did it for the first time, which was really good. And hopefully we'll do more. And then a number of their mates also did it. So, so the event started, the RNLI led it out, um, but it was quite a quick start. I think got to about 3.15 out the blocks um, quite quick for me and then built into a, a speed, a pace of around four minute pace um, for the first 2.5k. So this is the same kind of course as Mumbles a triathlon. So it's down the front um, all the way down to the pub, which I don't know the name of. I'll put it up on the screen now. Um, it was about 200 meters after that. So it was a bit longer than triathlon. Um, which, which shocks you really, you get down and you go, oh, here we go, another 200 metres on top. So, um, but no, it was really good. The whole way down was good. But by the by the first turning point, um, my heart rate had already got to 180. So I was like, here we go. I looked at it and I was like, mm, it's going to be a long day at the office. Yes. You've turned around and you come back up the bay and the wind is in your face. So it's a bit more so I'm, I know I tend to go quicker when my reps per minute are up or when my legs are spinning over a bit quicker. So I start to move a little bit quicker now. Um, and I'm kind of keeping a pace of four to 4.15. The lowest it gets is 4.15 because I look at my watch and I go, I'm not going to hit my four minute time if I hit this. Um, the whole way back then was good because I could see everyone coming past. So they were giving me motivation, but also um, quite bad because I know 2.5 in your heart rate is over 180. This is going to be a nightmare year. So we get to the other side, happy, um, a turnaround of that turning point just in front of Verdi's. Um, and I'm at a good, decent pace. I think that's just just below the 20 minute mark. I'm like, okay, I've got this in the bag if I keep this pace up. But you know, every time your heart rate's creeping. So this point now it's 190 and 191. I know that this is gonna be beyond where I've pushed before because I want this, this specific time. So we go back down, um, that way down is so much easier than the way back up. So I'm kind of opening my legs up here and this is where my carbon shoes come into play. So I've noticed the difference up until this point, it's keeping me lighter on my feet, but also it's putting more tension on my calves. My calves are blowing up at this point, I'm feeling pretty swole, kind of anaerobic to me, this, <laughs> this feeling, but we keep, we keep moving. Um, keep, I was pretty strong, controlled, pretty happy with what I was doing, obviously, Got to the last turning point then, 2.5k left, and then I put the I put the burners on. I start to hit about 350 to four minute per k, um, crossing the finish line in 39 to 31. I think I think the biggest learning in it was that like hard work does pay off, but it's also the smart work pays off. So the quality of training we've been doing recently and the amount of recovery between sessions has really helped mitigate injuries, but also improve different elements of the run. And I think taking off two minutes is a good place to be. I think my next goal now is to possibly get a sub 130 half marathon, um, but that's a lot of work to do. Hopefully in three months time, I'll be able to do that before my Ironman, hopefully in the 70.3 in the summer. But yeah, the heart rate, the heart rate at the end of the event was 201. Um, which is pretty normal to me. I think I've got it up to 205 before. So being able to breach that max heart rate is, and finding that resilience to go beyond that threshold is a skill in itself, I think. And 
Um, I enjoyed getting into that position and feeling that pain. And obviously, I felt the repercussions yesterday in terms of... So my stomach was in bits last night, and that's why I didn't review this video. So, But overall, a really positive event. Something I'm going to take forward in the future um, as a marker for my performance. But we're building this week. We've got a, set, a hills tomorrow, um, an aerobic session on Thursday, and then doing a park run on Saturday to hopefully uh, get another PB in that. But I think I'm going to learn pretty soon that PBs isn't the be on and end all because it's going to get to a point where it's going to be you're either on it or you're not. Um, you're either feeling 100% or you're not. So, But that's something I'm going to have to mentally deal with. I think a lot of people probably get to that point where they can hit PBs every time and then they hit the point where right, you've got to train you've got to train a bit smarter now. You've got to train, train different systems at different quantities and um, do you have that aerobic capacity um, training within you? Do you have that time spent on your feet as well? So that's something I need to take into consideration, obviously. Um, I think a lot of people probably fall out of running because of that perspective of not hitting PBs because it's quite an addiction. 39.31 time, went for Sunday lunch after, lovely day out with the family. So yeah, awesome day. If you like this sit down video um, and like to see more content, please like and subscribe. Have a good week of training. Keep it up, push yourself. Hard work pays off. Let's go.